All right, hi everybody. Oh my god, oh people, it's Bonkai922. Um, <laughs> wow, wow, just wow. Um, final episode DXD new it's episode 12. Final episode. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! What? The hells? WTF? WTH? Up the wazoo's in this episode. In this final episode. Better than last season. The final episode was better than last season. This season is better than last season. There is nothing else to say. This episode. Oh my god. Well, mind you, the first half of it was pretty much just, um, <clears throat> first half of it was just basically them fighting. We have Azazel against Leviathan, you know, her, and, you know, he takes care of business. He, oh my god, he brought out this armor. He brought out a sacred gear that he made himself. Made himself from one of the dragons. I believe he called it the Fall Dragon armor, something. Let me get the actual name of that. And he was fighting um, her, and he just owned her. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Oh my god. This gets a five out of five this final episode. The series? Listen. I can't contain it. I've given this a 10 out of 10. I'm sorry. I, Especially when you consider that la what last season was. This dwarfs. No, fuck that. The dwarfs. Shit stops last season. This season, season 2, high school, DxD new. Shit stops season 1. Shit stops. Um, so, you know, that was the, the notable, the really notable thing that happened in the first half of this episode. We had Azazel, and I told you he was, he had the sacred gear that he made that was from a dragon. And he just, he just, he lost an arm from Leviathan, but he just owned her. He killed the fuck out of it. She's just, she just annihilated her. And he has like one arm now. And then we had that, and Issei and Rius and everyone else are basically fighting, taking out the, the, the stragglers, just owning everyone. This is, you know, we had uh, uh, Kino just going with lightning, and, you know, Rius manipulating it and shit, and just destroying everybody there. Then we have uh, Issei is on the ground, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, comes this blast. Oh, well, I should mention also what also happened in this episode. It was pretty dope, pretty dope. Gaspar. Um, he was... He was using his power. Yeah. He nullified the... Um, the seal that was going on with the, in that, that area. Which, which, you know, that the whole seal that was in the sky and everything. He nullified it. Uh, see, he kind of had like his shonen moment, I guess you could say. He wants to be a man like, like, um, uh, his senpai. Like, you know, for anybody, you know, you look just like a girl. Come on. But anyway, there was that. And the other thing that happened was midway through this episode, Vanishing Jack. Vali, we finally found out the whole story behind him in this final episode. I have to take off my glasses, people. So you might be freaked out by this. Oh, God. Vali. V-A-L-I. His last name. Lucifer. We find out in this episode, in this final episode, he attacks Azazel. Attacks Azazel. And says... 
that he's pretty much just not with him anymore. And Azazel kind of has a feeling, and, and you know, he tells him, uh, he says, oh, so you're part, are you part of this group? Now, the name of the group, from what I understand, is Chaos Bridge. But I could be wrong. Chaos Bridge, he says he's aligned himself with another dragon. That blew me away. Another dragon named the Ouro Ouroboros dragon. Orphan. I think it's Orphan. It, 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 it begins with a no, but it's known as the Ouroboros dragon, meaning it's immortal. It's a she. I was like, what? That blew me away. I was like, what? And apparently he and her have no interest in fighting against, you know, the, you know, you know, the angels and the demons or the fallen angels. And that's when he's talking to Issa at that point. Bali. Bali. V-A-L. And he's like, he basically, I mean, what he was saying was that he um, has the blood of the former demon lord in through him. So he's like half demon, half human. I was like, you son of a bitch. And that's when it gets even way crazier. He starts shooting shots at Issei and saying, oh, you're pathetic. You know, you see how fate is saying that, oh, you're, you're nothing because you're just a human. And he threatens to kill Issei's parents. I was like, yo, what are you doing, Bali? Yo, what are you doing? Yo, back off. So he threatens to do that. And that's when Issei loses it. And the bracelet that Azazel gave him comes off full, yes, full red dragon armor all over his body. I was like, oh my god, it's gonna go, let's go, let's go. This fight was insane. And at one point, um, it gets pretty graphic. Uh, it was an intense fight. And, and I think Rhea, she tried to get involved and her brother dragged, stopped her and says, you're your power. You would, you can't go near those guys because you would just be burned to death. I was like, God damn, this is going to happen. This was crazy. So it was going back and forth and he, he was kind of getting rock shot here and there. And, at some point, he goes after his friends, uh, the Vanishing Dragon, and he says stops it, and he gets owned, kind of, but then at one point, he actually merges, because part of um, uh, uh, Valley, you know, Vanishing Dragon, his, his, his sacred gear crystal thing came off, and he, in... Fused it into him. I was like, what the fuck? That scene. And he's got a white I was like. And then he goes in and on and back and forth, back and forth. And eventually, what he does, Valley, he begins to fuck around with the dimensions. He's shrinking the dimension. And that's what Azazel. Oh my god, Azazel. Yo, I love this guy. Azazel, he's my favorite character. Yeah, bar none, people. Listen, Azazel for the motherfucking win. I love this guy. He was basically telling Issei, he says, Red, Red Dragon Emperor Issei, um, if he goes through this, your president's boobs will shrink in half. And she's like, what? She Rhea's was like, what are you talking, what? And he was like, he went crazy. I mean, it's kind of silly that that's what you know, got Issei his, his vigor back and, and fought um, uh, Valley, you know, Vanishing Dragon with everything he had. And just like, boost, 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 and all these boosts. And just went ballistic and just owned him. He owned Valley. Oh, it was insane. And, you know, he gets really powerful and he just knocks the shit out of him. 
And at one point, um, he's still standing, Valley, after that attack. And that's when he he's gonna he's gonna use another move. But even his dragon, Albion, told him, don't do it. He was going to do he went completely insane, Valley. And he was gonna use out this one move called Judgment Overdrive. It would destroy everything. It would destroy him. And that's when the barrier is broken by somebody. And this guy comes down. <laughs> this, this right here made me say, Are you. What? Azazel tells Isao, oh, that's. I forgot the guy's name. But he's known as. Son Goku Monkey who journeyed to the West? Huh? Oh, okay, so we're bringing Dragon Ball Z and DXD. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? No! It's, I was like, no, no. But that's pretty much what happened. And he was there and basically told him. Um, he told Valley, and he said, no, we have to stop now because uh, it's so, something to do with assassins and stuff. So he leaves. Issa tries to get at him, but he falls down. And apparently it is noted that the only reason he was able to transform the full dragon here again was because the bracelet that Azel gave him. And then after that, we see Rias go, Issa, and hugs him and you know, whatever. And that's pretty much it. Now, after that, after the fight, we had this thing with Ashia, Xenovia, and Issei is basically asking Michael, um, will you allow them to pray to God without, you know, them hurting themselves? And Irena also seconds that motion in this part, and Michael decides, yes, I will do that when I get back to heaven and fix the system. And she, he even asked them, you, are you going to pray even though there's no God anymore? And they said, yes, we will. And it was very touching, very, you know, mushy kind of emotional kind of thing. Um, and then we see Azazel and he says, where are you going? And he's saying, I'm going to stick around. And I was like, I thought to myself, oh shit, this guy, he's going to do something. Now, sure enough... He did. He apparently got permission from Rias' brother to be their advisor of the occult club. And I was like, yeah, what the fuck? And apparently, that's not all. He's going to train um, Issei, Kiba, and Zonavia. And, um, what's his face? Gasper, to train their sacred gears, um, to make them grow more, uh, more powerful, more, more adaptable and stuff. And he also said something else. This had me dying. All the female court, cult members are advised they are going to, they are going to live now with Issei in his house. I was like, what? What? Seriously? Oh, God. But overall, that's what happened. And then, you know, uh, we have the final scenes of the episode. Azazel saying, oh, to the red, the white dragon wants power and the red dragon wants women. Such pure and, 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 and you know, uh, desires. And saying that even though there isn't God, it is still... You know, it was a nice scene. They're all together and everything. And, and so on and so forth. And, and that's where the episode ends. I was like... This episode... This season pretty much stamps. This season, it, it, it excels. It is far better than last season. Just, just, just leaps and bounds. Leaps and bounds. Um... Now, but this is good, because now season three, season three is going to be awesome. 
Oh man, season three. Season three is going to be better than season two. I'm convinced. Because Issa is now going to get real good training. Not that he had tra good training before, but this training he's going to get is really good. Because it's going to develop his, his Red Dragon powers. He's going to be so much powerful. Oh, God. It's going to be so epic. Epic. This gets a 5 out of 5. This series gets a 10 out of 10 this season. This season, oh, just so good. So much better than last season. Last season was good, don't get me wrong. But this was so much impactful. This had so much action, so more better fights. Great all around. Great all around. So overall, 5 out of 5. The series gets a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. So much better than last season. Last season was more about, you know, it wasn't, there were more battle. I find that the battles in this season were far more intense and far more interesting. You know, because you got more people involved in this season. You had key, you got exposure for Kiba. You had exposure for Issei. And there was just so much more to go on, I feel. So that's why I gave me this series out of 10 out of 10. 5 out of 5 of this final episode. Tell me what you guys think. That's it. No more DXT. Gotta wait for season 3, though. Season 3 is gonna be awesome. Awesome. So yeah, that's the story, people. I'm Bonkai922. I'll see you guys later. Yo, Issei, he went ham. He went ham. Issei, yo, he's and Oz is up. They join forces to take out this motherfucking dragon, white dragon. Yeah, it's going down. All right, see you guys later. Peace.